Good news and some not so good news today about DDR5 memory. If you watched our last video about CPU benchmarking, you'll have seen that there was about a 50% improvement between the DDR4 and the DDR5 versions of the Z690 motherboards when used with virtual instruments. However, there has been some changes, so stick with us and find out what exactly they are. Let's start off with the fact that Corsair has discontinued the original RAM specification that we tested with. The original RAM was 16 gig sticks of CAS38 timings, and the new replacement RAM are 16 gig sticks of CAS40 timings. Now, it is slightly slower, but the good news is, in benchmarking, it makes zero difference. We're pulling exactly the same scores in both the virtual instrument and the DSP test with them. So no worries there. The next bit of good news is we've had some newer 5600 megahertz RAM sticks from Corsair. Now, We'll pop the graph up here and you can see across the board, all four buffer sizes on the interface, we're getting about a four to seven percent improvement over the 5200. On the virtual instrument test, it's a significant difference and this is great. And I say great, unless you need more than 32 gig, because currently there's an issue on DDR5 Z690 boards where four sticks of RAM aren't going anywhere near the quoted speed. And a quick look onto ASUS's uh, supported memory listing. Of, um, in this case, we're looking at the ProArt board, so one of the higher boards. Um, shows us that actually the only four stick config that they've certified already is a currently unavailable Corsair running at 4400 megahertz and that's four 16 gig sticks. Now the other good news is we have spotted there that they have also certified two 32 gig sticks from Corsair at 5200 megahertz. So 64 gig will be attainable shortly. We have even got the model number, but um, right now you're going to be a little bit stuck if you need more than that 32. Now, while we were there, something else that stood out was the fact that, um, as again, completely unavailable, but G-Skill have listed two sticks of 16 gig RAM, so nothing too monumental there, apart from the fact that they run at 6800 megahertz. Now, whether or not that's going to hit a form of cap for performance or not, we don't quite know. Um, but certainly something to look out for in the future if you don't need more than 32 gig. Any other questions about DDR5 RAM or the PC performance? Drop us a comment. Don't forget to give us a subscribe. And we'll see you for another video again soon.